Um, just quickly, your text is artist of the floating world. You know, if you're approaching artist, you really want to you want to focus on the difference or the relationship, rather the relationship, the comparison, I should say, the similarities between the setting of that text. Think about when that text is set, right? Around like before and after World War II in Japan, and then consider the context of the author. Okay, the context of the author in Britain. Okay, we're in Britain. There are these strikes going on. It's 1980s. It's not the 1940s or 1950s. It's not 1940s or 50s like it is in the book itself, in the novel itself. In, re- in real life, when it was written, it was like the 1980s. Okay, so you need to consider the difference between them, but also how they're connected. They were both periods of social and political flux. There was incredible tension in both of those periods. So the author is connecting his current experience, his contemporary experience of political friction, political tension in England under Thatcher, right? And there a resistance to Thatcher. He is relating that to the real life events of Japan, okay? And what happened in Japan during, before and after World War II and how the culture changed and how it, it basically became more democratized and westernized, okay? That's what happened after World War II in Japan. It had a huge culture shift and there was a huge resistance to that culture by the older generations. So really, the novel is about capturing those tensions. The tensions in the novel, the ideological tensions between the old world and the new world, remember the new world is more Americanized, westernized, older generations are blamed for the atrocities of the war, Those tensions are reflective of the tensions that Kazuo Ishiguro, the author of this novel, they're reflective of the tensions that he was observing in England in the 1980s. Okay, so you need to connect those two periods, the setting of the novel and the context in which it was actually written. (laughs) 